Hi everyone, the best thing of my work is having the opportunity to work in such an amazing project like the one that I'm working right now. I've been working on this one for two months now and I still have a lot of work to do, but I'm working on making a replica of Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And that's a super huge project because making a replica, at least for me, involves to try to copy every single part on the puppet, on the armature in this, in this case, as close as possible to the original. And that means uh, researching for good pictures, researching for the, the scale of, of those pictures or the scale of this puppet and try to find all the parts, all the materials and all the screws to to make something as, as close as possible to the original. And especially for this film, because Nightmare has been a huge influence for all of us working in stop motion. And especially those two characters, they have super, super tall bodies and really, really thin arms and legs. So, huge project, huge challenge, here am I. Let me show you what I have so far. So far I have some joints. This armature seems and it's quite complicated. It is 40 centimeters tall, 16 inches. It has a lot of small screws and tight tolerances. And each part will have to be made individually from steel. This armature has two double ball and socket joints, four single joints, four swivel single joints, and six hinge joints. They are both small and big parts, but in total, I will be making from scratch up to 60 parts. And to begin, I decided to start with the neck join, as it is the most similar one to other parts that I am used to make.
So this is how I've been making custom joints lately. Holding the parts from behind the fixture, that is a technique that I took from knife makers. Making a joint took me two days. Seems so easy here, but there is a lot behind it. You have to draw it in 3D, program all the operations, machine it, check that everything is right, and most of the times, the first try, it's not dial in, so there's always something wrong, so you have to repeat it. The next part that I'm going to make are the swivel single joints. Those are quite tedious to make and I end having a lot of issues making the holes for the screws that retains the rods. I broke some bits and I had to redo some work. It was quite frustrating but I guess it's normal for the first time.
There is a lot more work to do, but I will leave it here for now. Like and subscribe for the part 2 and let me know in the comments if this is something that you like to watch or is too specific. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.